Good morning. We are so happy you're here. We vlog every day, so if you like this video, please come back tomorrow. I don't know if Peter actually introed or not. I am at home editing the vlog, watching Princess and the Frog, um, or just really on in the background. Um, but he is out on his 13.1 half marathon for Rival Run weekend. I wore last year's shirt for a little like support celebration. Um, and so he's out doing that. I'm getting the vlog situated. And then hopefully I'll be done by the time he gets back and then we can enjoy the rest of the day together. Oh, went in a completely different way from my half marathon run. I'm over here on South Street. South Street sounds familiar. It's the biggest market on South Street. Our post CRM visit location, favorite vegan restaurant, is called Market on South because it is a market on South Street. It's a little bit down the road there. So I went through downtown Orlando um, on this route. Pretty sure if I followed this, that would, yeah, that's Eola Drive. That would bring me to Lake Eola. Um, you can see one building there, but I'm kind of in a, a southern portion of, I'm on the southern half of downtown Orlando. Oh, I don't think, I don't know if we explained it, but we overslept. So it's a very hot, sunny half marathon for me today, but we're getting it done. We are getting it done. See, South Street and Eola Drive. All about the cobblestones, baby. So Peter is back from his run. I'll show him in a little bit once he's done getting himself freshened up. But we had bought frozen checkers french fries. And so I made some for a little snack um, once he's all done. But they smell so good. It smells like the food court of the mall. And <laughs> I love that smell. So I ran the half marathon at a far slower place than I wanted to, but I did it in um, a safe manner. My splits range anywhere from 8.44 to, which was honestly way too fast for the temperature outside, to 13.13. Um, but 13.1 miles in there to- It was uh, 90 degrees. It was 90, degree plus, 90 degrees plus not a cloud in the sky. Plus, I foolishly didn't bring my hydration belt, thinking that I'd get more opportunities to find uh, water fountains, but then I had the realization that um, that may not be the smartest right now with the virus. But then I ended up just like, I had to have water, because I brought goos, I had two goos along the way. I had to get some water in Winter Par on Park Avenue at mile 10. Now to eat and rest. You saw the fries that are hooked up. I'm having a bowl of the pasta salad and a body armor there to rehydrate. I made a sriracha ketchup and a normal ketchup and a McDonald's barbecue sauce. McDonald's barbecue sauce is strictly for you. And she is now here trying to get all the fries. Oh yeah. Yes, it may be 421, but Never a bad time to make a pot of coffee. I'll say it once, I'll say it a million times. I believe I was supposed to be born in the 40s as an Italian man. And luckily I think Sarah still would have married me, regardless. Mm -hmm. I would have. Yeah, I'm twisted like a pretzel. Sarah's wearing a Star Wars shirt in honor of yep. the rival run that did not happen. Mm -hmm. I was thinking, like, I wonder, since that was canceled kind of soon in, like not far out, what happened to all the medals and yeah. shirts? And like, will they use the same medal designs next year? But like, they were produced this, they had to have been produced this year. They say it. And they, they say 2019 or 2020. No, 2020. So like, what are they gonna do? It's not the same thing as like when they make Super Bowl shirts for both teams and they donate, like they could donate all the shirts, but what are they gonna do to the medals? Hey Eve. Do you want to go outside? Want to go outside? Want to go outside? Come on, let's go! <gasps> she wants me to take her. Do you really, Eve, you want her to take you? Do you want to go outside? 
Yeah, let's go. That was ain't that climactic. <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> There's outside Eve. <laughs> We're gonna watch more Marvel when we come back. How about? Okay. With fresh pot of Joe. We're on Captain Marvel. Look at this beautiful sky. It's beautiful now. It was very mean on my run because there was not a cloud in the sky earlier. I'm also laying on the grass and it's freaking Eve out. But like she kept walking and I laid in this grass and Eve like stopped, looked back and like booked to me. It's like, what? Is he okay? What is he doing? She came over just like looked at me like really close and then like got mad and walked away. I'm gonna stay here. Wait, no, here they come Evie, Evie, Evie. Evie. <laughs> you okay? You come save me? So great. So nice, huh? Universe, you've achieved a new level of amazingness. Oh. Imagine if we had a backyard of our own. Now we're back inside. I got me a fresh cup of joe. And I did something I don't typically do. I usually just drink my, my coffee straight. But I put in some Oatly oat milk, and it's pretty good. And we're not going to start watching um, Marvel movies just yet. We're going to start watching Home on Apple TV+. Plus. Could you open that, please? Sarah's making herself a kombucha drink. Um, or as, it was Shane, right? Yeah. Shane on the... The whole time we were in Detroit. No, the whole time we were... Was it Detroit or was it... In, I was there! But was it there? Did it start there? Or did it start in the Nashville trip? You never went to Nashville. Kent Lu Louisville. No, it happened. I was oh, there. You were there? Okay. Our friend Shane called kombucha kabuta juice. Because <laughs> he got some from the store, remember? He's like, I don't know what this was. I just wanted to try it. It was, it was like, I got kabuta juice. And we we're like, kombucha? So you just finished the first episode. Peter actually had watched this show one day last week, like just down in the background. Yeah, was, or was uh, it yesterday? It was yesterday. It was also, yesterday was like five days in one. Yeah. Um, but the first one was in Sweden and it was really, really cool. It was a house built inside a greenhouse. You guys got to watch it um, on Apple TV Plus, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, this next episode is in a little city called Chicago. Uh -huh. My hair looks so curly right now. Um, and what's extra cool about this episode, Peter and I cannot put our finger on it, or why, or when, or where, but the person that they're following in this story, we saw a talk in, in Chicago at, it was probably something for my art school, like maybe I had to go to a speaker for extra credit, because Peter was there, so it wasn't during my class. Um, got a lot, like, got to do a lot of cool things going to art school in such a big city and I've seen a lot of exhibits and gone to a lot of events but like we can't put our finger on why Peter was there but what's cool is when they said Chicago and they said the south side I was like oh is this that and then the guy like started to talk and we're like we've seen him before so that's pretty cool so we're gonna watch this probably make dinner some point in between we're just gonna do the brats and the pasta salad again and keep on chilling Evie just loves her window life. Did you guys know that this was actually one of the like make or break deals for when we were shopping for a couch? I don't know if we talked about that when we were shopping for the couch uh -huh. on the vlog, but like for me this was super important because yeah. I knew. We knew we had to orient it. We originally wanted the couch over there because that wall is um, angled. See there's like one wall and then another wall. And this wall is flat, and so we originally wanted the TV on this wall, but we couldn't figure out a way for the couch to work because then again, like, the, the angled walls. But this is perfect. All right, so we took leftovers from the other night, the, like, pepper pineapple situation, and put them on the brats tonight in the pasta salad. I actually didn't. I put mine on the side because I have just been loving ketchup lately. Um, which is like totally against my Chicago roots, but I've always been that way. But Peter's looks like a food and wine item. All right, we finished that episode of Home, which was awesome, talking about the south side of Chicago. We're going to watch Captain Marvel now. I don't know if we went into details on the clip that I shot when I was running, but my plan was to get up this morning and like finish my weekend, like quick morning work for work. 
um, at seven and then uh, go on my half marathon run because I was projecting between two to three hours for that run. Um, I got up at eight, which was later than I expected, ran my work stuff, fell back asleep on the couch, and then Sarah woke me up at like 10.40 and I was like, oh my gosh, I need to get out and run, which is why my run was so like brutal with it being so hot and sunny. So Sarah mentioned potentially going to bed early today because of the... Uh, our, our first normal OB baby doctor appointment tomorrow. We're going to get going on Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel. You know what time it is. It's fancy drink time. Are you having deja vu? I don't know if they'll be as big. As I don't think they're going to be, but they're going to be delicious. We might actually have to mix some of that purple with the orange because there's a lot of purple left and not a lot of orange. Uh oh. She's a, it's your modern day mixologist over here. Should I just pour a little bit of this into here? Perfect. There is a lot more. Okay. 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 Now we're getting somewhere. Do you think I should put on your yeah. one? Ooh. <laughs> Science experiment much. These are cool. But, but that's gonna be delicious once it mixes. Ooh, it's still. Separated. It's still separated like a black and tan. But way more successful than when I would try to do it. Mix a mixer? Mix a mixer. She's trying to mix the mixer. Uh. Divine. That's I it. like them more on their own, though, to be truthful. Because, like, the they aren't as, like, pungent in their own identities. Oh. <laughs> so I feel like they're more uh, pulpy today. The orange was pulpy, so that's the one that's mostly orange. Orange was pulpy yesterday. Yeah. The, the purple one wasn't. Delicious. So we watched Captain Marvel, which Peter hasn't seen since we saw it in the theaters. I've had it on like in the background while working before, um, but such a good movie, so fun that it falls so early. Um, our next movie is Iron Man 2, because we it would have been Iron Man 1, but we're going to not watch that again. And then we watched another episode of The Home Show, and it was in Bali, and just makes us want to travel more and more. I'm going to do the message and we're going to go to bed kind of early or than we have been. April 19th, your time is limited so don't waste it living someone else's life. Steve Jobs. Cutie pies. Uh oh, she like started to yawn. Take it stuck. <laughs> I don't want to work tomorrow. I know, but it's a good day tomorrow. It is a good day tomorrow. We got even more photos of our babe. Yeah. Um, update about how I'm feeling. I really don't feel much different after being off of like all the medication I've been on for a super long time. Um, I was a little bit worried about how I'd react. And truly, I kind of feel better. Like, I feel like I'm not as nauseous. <laughs> um, just overall more like myself. So, that's been good. I mean, it's only been three days, but... I was on it for a long time. Did I got fuzz on my head? No, it's good right now. A noogie? Oh, <laughs> bunny ears. Bunny ears. Alrighty. Going to bed earlier than usual these days, but I've been really trying to get eight hours, so we're gonna go to bed early so I can wake up early and be productive before. Fingers crossed I can sleep. You ran a lot today, so hopefully yeah. your body's tired. Yeah. Sometimes mine's not tired though in that, like your mind. And that's what stops you. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>